Good morning. Welcome to Camlook, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. At 10 o'clock every weekday, a staff member or volunteer will be here to share an object from our collection. So join us for each new conversation. My name is Betty, and I'm a museum docent. August 24th was the day in 79 AD when Mount Vesuvius erupted, burying the Roman town of Pompeii. So this is a good day to share a recent acquisition with you, a view of Naples with Mount Vesuvius erupting. This landscape is by Thomas Jones, a Welsh artist who created it around 1780 while working in Italy. You might wonder who would want a picture of an erupting volcano. Well, in the 17th and 18th centuries, young upper-class European men, particularly from Britain, took Greek and Latin in school and learned about classical culture. As a capstone to their education, they would embark on what they called the Grand Tour, travel around Europe to see classical antiquities, Renaissance art, and experience other cultures. Traveling just for the sake of learning was a new idea, and many men wanted to take home souvenirs, like art, books, and scientific instruments. We think this painting was bought by such a British patron to adorn his country estate or London townhouse. You might take a selfie to remember your travels, but that wasn't an option in the 1780s. It is interesting to see what the painter emphasized, the sights a traveler would want to remember. The background catches my eye first, with the hulking, smoking mass of Mount Vesuvius. The volcano was active throughout the 1700s and must have been quite a sight in Italy's hot summer sun. After you marvel at the volcano, you might next notice the city and bay of Naples in the background. Even today, residents in this region have to worry about a possible eruption. Then finally, your eye is ready to look at the small details, which I've enlarged for you an exotically clothed family going down a trail, two women on a balcony on the right, and the Bourbon Palace of Capo de Monte, now a great art museum on a hill overlooking the city. Thomas Jones's work represents a progression in landscape painting. He looks back at the atmospheric light-filled vistas of the 1600s, like this one by Claude. But Jones and other 1700s artists broke with that landscape tradition to capture direct observation. They point the way to the even more naturalistic landscapes by the 19th century Barbizon School, represented here by Daubigny. My question today is this. Do you have a favorite travel photo? Where was it made? What do you remember most about that day? Add your thoughts in the chat below. 